Hello, Libra, and happy birthday. We are here to do your birthday reading. All right, Libra, this is for Libra Sun. Okay, there may be messages here for Moon Rising. All right, and Venus. I'm hearing and Venus, but this is focused on Libra Sun. All right. So happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Let's see what's coming towards you in your birthday season. There will be bonus readings for Libra all Libra season, okay? Because that's what we focus on during your season. That's what we do here, all right? That's what you get from the humble high priestess. We're going to do Libra readings several times a week for my Libras, all right? My birthday babies, okay? This is for Libra Sun. What are the messages? All right, so Libra, I have already meditated on your cards. I've already called in the divine for divine assistance here. So, all right, well, let's see what's going on for your birthday. All right, this is day one of Libra season, okay? So we getting on top of things early for my Libras. This is for Libra Sun. This is for Libra Sun. What are the messages, please? What are the birthday messages? What do they need to know? What's coming towards them during Libra season? What's coming towards them, please? Angels and spirits and guides, ancestors, and anything else that's here for everyone's highest good. What's coming towards Libra during Libra season? All right, Libra, let's go ahead and get started. This is for my Libras. Libra sun. Could be messages for moon and rising. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups. Mm. Loving oneself and ready to um, bring in love, manifest love, or there's a love offer that's coming towards you after some form of conflict has taken place. Five of Wands is conflict that takes place that leads to um positive change right positive movement forward this is for libra sun what do they need to know please for their birthday season what's coming towards them all right this is for my libras <clears throat> we have the page of cups i mean damn it's all type of love coming towards y'all we have the Eight of Coins, somebody working hard on bringing forth this love. We have the Ace of Swords, somebody coming to talk about it. Like, um, Libra, let me tell you how much I love you. Let me tell you about what I plan to do. Let me give you my, my heart. Here's my cup, Libra. I mean, damn, baby, take this cup. Something like that. You know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whatever took place. That was all me. That was my bad. But I do love you. And I'm working on it. I'm definitely working on it. All right. Coming in with that, that, that truth, that honesty, that clarity. Right? Trying to get that will to turn. <clears throat> so... Voila, we have the Six of Wands, going to be victorious in that. We have that Ace of Cups coming in to make that offer. We have the Eight of Cups. You might not take that offer. We'll see. Piscean energy there. Could be them walking away from other love um, connections. That's what I'm hearing. That could be what... Um, that could be where this conflict was at. Other love interests were involved. This person is walking away from them. They came in with the conflict that they had with you because of these other people. They're coming out of this spread. Like, fuck them hoes. I don't want them anyway. Okay. All right. This is for Libras. Leave the sun. Could be messages for moon and rising here. If it resonates, stick it in your back pocket. That's all I can tell you. All right. This is for Libra Sun. What do they need to know, please? This is for Libra Sun. What 
are the messages? What are the messages for you for son? My birthday baby. What's the messages? What do they need to know for their highest good? What do they need to know? All right, so slow and steady wins the race. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Take your time. Take your time to decide what you want to do. Grasshopper. But you're being told to take that leap of faith. You ain't got to rush. You ain't got to just jump out there like a crazy person. But make sure that you take the leap. Make your dreams come true. Spider spirit. All right. All right, so Libra, the first thing we're going to check on is this Eight of Cups. Why is it here? Why is it here, please? Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, please. We have the Hermit card. Can bring in some of that shadow side to the light, you know, remorseful about what they did as it relates to love, you know, and they're working on it. That's them walking away from them hoes, like I told you. It's a challenge. They're trying to get you back. They wanna they wanna they wanna harvest with you. Like they've you guys have gone through a lot. They've planted all these seeds, you see, and they have the ace of wands that they wanna try again, fresh new beginning, you know done with these hoes i'm done i don't need them eight cups i just need this one with you i just need one cup that's it i want to be victorious in that tell me about the five well no okay so i don't need to clarify the five it's because they there was some kind of infidelity you know extra people were involved something like that which they're walking away from that energy Okay, so let's see here. We already see how they're feeling, what their true intentions are, what actions they're taking. Like, they pretty much sum that up real quick. Ace of Cups fell on the floor for you. They just making sure you understand how much they do love you. All right, Libra. So let's just check a little bit deeper to see their intentions. What what actions? What actions are they going to take? What actions will this person take towards Libra during Libra season, please? the hanging man they're not moving much just yet but we have the nine of cups oh, ten of cups and we have the three of swords so they're still you know it's like they're trying to um, they want to come in and fix this heartbreak they do they're trying to figure it out all things considered, right? All things considered, they're trying to figure out how can they balance things out? 
How can they fix this? How can I fix my mess up? You know? What, what am I supposed to do about this? How do I get to this Ten of Cups with my person? abundance with my person the moon card so they're going to start with addressing um their shadow you know we've seen that with the the hermit that's where they're going to start working on that fixing that part of them transforming that part of them with the death card here they know they have to change they have to change that's where they're going to start. That's why they're not making any move towards you right away. That's why they're in the hanging man coming in. So coming into Libra season. That's why that's their energy. They're trying to figure it out. What do I need to do? They don't want to ask you for help. They don't want to. They want to figure it out on their own. Genuine. Very genuine with it. swords now once they've decided how to go about fixing this that's when they're going to come in quick to try to heal everything first they have to figure out you know they're trying to gain peace of mind and trying to figure out what exactly needs to be done first once they figure that out that's when they're going to come rushing in it's going to be all of the sudden all of a sudden when they come in to spark this change right First, they got to go through this transformation that they're working on. Let me fix who I am. You know, being this way got me in trouble my, with my Libra. Like, I don't want to be in trouble with my own Libra. So let me work on that first because, you know, I don't want to be in trouble with my Libra. I don't want to hurt my Libra. That's not my goal. I thought I was slick. But I realize I'm not slick enough. You know, but it's all about lessons. We learn. That's how we learn. We teach one another. We teach one another. Sometimes they're painful. It's okay. We still learn. We have the brown bear spirit. All right. That's all about taking time out, which we see that they're doing because they're in the hanging man. We have the, the horse spirit. The freedom is yours. That's them feeling like you're detaching from them. We have the deer spirit. So this is about bringing in a gentle touch. That's them understanding that they have to change who they are. They have to transform who they are as a person. Right? Fix themselves in order to be what you need. Tell me about this three of swords, please. Why is it here? Of swords, why is it here, please? Why is the three of swords here? Why is it, why is it here, please? Three of swords. All right, I mean, Libra, we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about it. So it's about something that, you know, you're still feeling conflicted about or they're still feeling conflicted about and understanding that, you know, that's what, that's why there's a sense of waiting, understanding that, you know, and before they can come back to harvest, this conflict has to be resolved. And keep in mind, you know. They're looking at it. They're they're all things considered. Like they're looking at it. They understand. Anything else? Yeah, see? 
Sneaky energy. They under, this is what caused it. They understand that. And they feel like you know, you're thinking about just taking what you have and just going. Taking what you've learned and leaving. It's not what they want. Tell me about the death card. This is what they want. They're trying to transform because they're trying to bring in some contentment, some security, some safety, some abundance. You know, understanding that they can't have that with the way that they were, you know, carrying on. You know, and keep in mind, we're still in that Mars retrograde energy. So that definitely affects past relationships, you know, love. And, you know, this could be male or female, you know, but this does affect the males more so than the females. But we have both male and female um, energies. So we're all going to be affected. Just males will be affected a little more strongly. So that makes it difficult for relationships in general. You know, the Mars retrograde, even female, female energies, uh, relationships, it doesn't matter. Uh, male energy within us still all right so this is the you know they're trying to change who they are because they want to be able to offer you security and abundance and make you feel content right make you feel whole make you feel like nothing's lacking tell me about the moon the moon card why is it here yeah so this is them addressing the karma for things that they've done, things that they lied about, things that were like actions that were unspoken of, you know, things that were untold. This is them addressing it so that they can balance out those scales again. Right? They understand that they have to, you know, every action has a reaction, you know? And every action has a consequence. They, they understand that they, you know, once you tilt those scales, you have to figure out how to tilt them back so that they're balanced. Four of Swords. So this person is trying to have, they're trying to find their peace of mind, right? Balance themselves out. Yep. Yeah understanding that they need to change their toxic energy here how they deal with their passion you could have been very um you know fiery towards them the queen of wands can be a very passionate very loving like she she can be a very good person very you know nurturing very you know exotic erotic whatever you want to call it but if you if she lets her fire rise too much she can be held on heels or if it's a male she can be held on wheels damn it but you don't want to piss her off all right and i feel like your person you might have been that hell on heels or hell on wheels because your person is feeling like you know whoa i need to just take it easy for a minute and try to ease my mind before i try to come back in with these cups because um i have pissed libra off and i'm I'm slightly afraid. So let me take my time to get myself together, you know, before I try to come towards Libra. Mm. So they're not coming soon. They're, they're working on themselves, by themselves. And that's a good thing. So let's see what the potential outcome is here. We're at 1913. What is the potential outcome for Libra? What is the potential outcome in this situation for my Libras, please? Potential outcome for Libra. That's Libra's sign. Could be messages here for Moon Rising. Potential outcome, please. Potential outcome for birthday Libras. As it relates to the messages that we've gotten here, what can they expect? What can they expect as an outcome, please? All right. This is 
for Libra Sun. Could be messages from Moon Rising. All right, so we have the Strength card. We have the Seven of Cups here. We have the Eight of Swords. This is your person trying to have the courage to get past, um, you know, what they've done as far as these, you know, having other, having those eight cups involved and walking away from them or having these seven cups involved and walking away from them, leaving the one cup that they have for you, right? Yep, trying to just muster up the strength to, to get through this phase, you know. Understanding that all of this is because of them. Like they tell themselves, they beat themselves up about it constantly. They know. This is this is this is a web that has been woven by them, not anybody else. And they have to figure out how to get themselves out, not you. And they're working on trying to figure it out with the magician there. High Priest is listening to their inner guides now, understanding that they probably should have listened in the first place. Judgment, dealing with that karma. All Major Arcana, they're going through something serious here. This is All Major Arcana, um, very heavy energy here that they're dealing with. So four out of six cards are Major Arcanas. We also have the Strength card. So this person, they're well aware, well aware of what happened why it happened and what has to be done thing is the spirit guides were trying to leave them before they even messed up and they didn't listen so it's a little tougher on them because they realize you know that something told me not to do this and i didn't listen you know i did it anyway and look you know look at me now i'm stuck in this web that i've created you know so they're just trying to figure out, we have the five of wands, you know, they're just trying to figure out how to get the wheel to turn so that they can get out of this um, five of wands energy to move forward, to be able to bring forth their offer of love to you. Um, understanding that they this can't be done until you're feeling better about whatever has taken place. A lot of this stems off of, you know, you and how you feel. Because, you know, this is something that happened to you. Or vice versa, apply how it resonates to your situation. All right, this is for Libra. This is for Libra. Birthday reading. What can they expect? This is for Libra. What do they need to know for their highest good, please? the peacock spirit all right so that's just all about letting things shine letting them giving them the opportunity to work through these things that they need to do so that they can be a better version of them allowing them to get to that completion point this is the card of 46 4 and 6 is 10 allowing them to get to that completion uh part of this change that they're making we have the cat spirit claiming your independence so in the meantime there's not you know, the divine is saying, don't sit around and wait. You know, you still do what you have to do for you. It's not for you to sit and wait for somebody to get themselves together. You still live your life. Okay. Canary spirit, sing your own song. Yeah, definitely. Live your life is what they're saying. Don't you dare sit around and wait for somebody to get themselves together. They should have had themselves together already. 
You know, we were trying to guide them with this high priestess energy. If they didn't listen, they didn't listen. So don't wait. That's their problem. Let them work through it on their own. And once they have gotten themselves together, if you feel like you want to be bothered, then be bothered. But if you don't, then don't. And if you are simple. All right. So Libra, let's check on this eight of swords. Yeah, see, they're having a hard time healing. And that's because you guys, you're still in conflict. Like, they're like, oh, oh my God. I just, you know, I don't know how much more of this I can take. I get it. I humiliated, you know, my Libra. I embarrassed my Libra. I get it. But, geez, oh, wheeze, can I please heal from this? And you're like, nope, remember when? Remember what you said? Remember what you did? Seven of Cups. Why is it here, please? So you're not letting, okay, so those options, they're remorseful, you know. They should have listened to their higher self, which we've seen that right here with the high priestess. They should have listened. So they're beating themselves up with this eight of swords because they didn't listen to their gut feeling, their instincts when it told them not to do it in the first place. They didn't listen. They didn't listen. Anything else? And so now they're just kind of beating themselves up about it. So that's where the conflict is, is their own conflict. It's not yours anymore. Because, you know, you're out here being just doing you, you know. Tell me about the magician. So they understand that you are feeling very, um, very single right now. Maybe not, you know, like I'm not even going to worry about whatever took place. Doesn't mean that you don't love the person doesn't mean that at all it's just that there was a disrupt you know queen of fire i'm sorry queen of wands there was a disrupt you still find this person like you're still drawn to them you're still attracted to them you know you still have some passion for this person but not the stuff that they do they need to change that you know and they need to be a little more heavy on the magician card to get it together this is player energy and this is the way you still you're still viewing them you're still viewing them in that light you see you still look at them as that and because of that you're like yep i'm single okay So they're going to get to that point of being able to choose a path. It's just that they still have to work on it. They're going to come in with this love offer once they get through this judgment energy. You know, the will turns in their favor once they successfully complete that. You know, and there's a reconciliation on the rise. It's just that they have work to do before this can happen. And I see you standing on the sidelines, allowing them to do their work. But it's like, you know, I'm still, I have a life to live. Nothing wrong with that at all. All right. So that's what I have for you, my lovely Libras. All right. If this resonates, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future readings. All right. Feel free to comment in the comment section share the video so that your friends and or family can gain insight if they're libras all right if it doesn't resonate that's okay watch your moon and rising videos see if there's any messages for you keep in mind this focus was on libra sun but there could have been some messages here for moon and rising as well thanks for watching and happy birthday